Jack Pepper, and this is American Master at home. I love eggs. I have hundreds of recipes with eggs. This is a special one, and it involves hard cooked eggs. And it's not that easy to do hard cooked eggs the right way. You have an egg like this, very often, see on the rounder part of the egg, I make a hole like that with a thumbtack like this. That, there is an air chamber here, it relieves the pressure and it prevents the egg from cracking in the water. But it's not that important, even if you don't do it. Okay, you boil water, drop the eggs in it, bring it back to a bare boiled. And because we call that hard cooked egg, not hard boiled egg. If it boils too much, the egg whites get tough. So cook it for about 9-10 minutes. And after that, pour out the hot water put cold water on top of it, some ice, and leave it there at least, at least 10, 15 minutes. If you do that, you will have beautiful egg like this one. As you can see, there is no, no green around the yolk. And because it was refreshed fast enough and the sulfur left. Now to, to, to uh, peel it, what you do, the best thing is really to break it like that all around with a, with a spoon. And I have a whole bunch of eggs. And then you go right under running water to peel it. Okay, so you put it underneath and you crack it so that to get, not only do you have the shell, but you have a skin underneath. And you have to go under that skin. And when you go under the skin here, that's it. Put the water, then it will peel very easily. That's the way you peel your eggs. I call those Hug of Jeannette. Jeannette is my mother. She used to do those eggs when we were kids and I never seen them done by anyone over. So the idea that you have your hard cooked egg, what she did is to empty the center in there. Yeah, okay. You can cut your egg the long way or across, it doesn't matter really. I have a large clove of garlic, some parsley. So I'll crush that garlic the parsley, that goes together. Now that mixture of garlic and parsley, we call in France persillade. Persil is parsley and I is garlic. So persillade is really the signature of home cooking. My mother would cook, and she was a terrific cook. She'd saute some fish, put persillade. She saute some zucchini, persillade at the end. She saute some tomato, Persillade, even a steak. So take the steak, persillade. So here, I have the persillade that will go in there. Here, I'll use this to crush this. All right. Here, I will put a little bit of salt, pepper, and a bit of milk. Make one, one two tablespoons of milk to make a puree out of it, you know. If I do a lot of those, if I have a dozen, dozen and a half, then I do it in the food processor. Maybe a dash more. Okay. And then we're gonna stop the egg. Now restop the egg. Because we are going to cook the eggs after. Saute them. And what you want to do, fill it up, but you always want to have a little bit of that mixture in there left to do a sauce with it. So I have about probably a good uh, one, two tablespoons left over. We'll do the sauce with it. First, we're gonna saute the egg, olive oil, and we put stuff side down, you know? There. And they cook pretty fast. And they get beautifully brown. Now in this here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, mustard. Good French mustard here, and a dash of water, oh, maybe a tablespoon, and maybe even a dash of vinegar, not too much, and then the olive oil. So I have a mustard sauce here, that mustard sauce, I have used it for one thing or another. I emulsify it with this, olive oil. This is the taste of my youth. That's it. So let me test this. Another dash, maybe another little dash of salt. Okay. 
those are cooking here. You brown them only on one side. I'll put my sauce in there. And I'm sure that my eggs are done. The best way to turn your eggs is just move them like this. Whoop! As you can see, they are, they are largely done. Beautiful egg, Janet. Usually you let them cool off a little bit, of course, but here they are. And this is a favorite at my house. Not only with me, even my wife Gloria does it. Claudine does it. We all do the egg Janet. My mother would be proud of me. Happy cooking.